What mysteries are inside a HMV store? Let's find out. So today I was wandering the streets of Leeds uh, and I decided I would take a quick look inside a HMV store or the Leeds HMV store if you like. Without further ado I will just show you a bit of a short clip that I took from within the store and we'll see what it's like. So as I approach the store, it's in um, the core centre in the centre of Leeds, which is a fairly quiet shopping centre. It's got quite a, uh, a long history. Um, when I was younger, I remembered it being the Schofield Centre, and it was oh, and the Hedrow Centre, and it was really full. So at the top floor, we saw vinyl, CDs, a bit of merchandise there, some mugs. Uh, and then that was it. We didn't really go look at the vinyl or anything because my, my friend there in the woolly hat wanted to buy a specific Blu-ray which uh, you will soon find out they didn't have. Um, so I went to have a look at the Blu-rays and massive, massive range of stock. Uh, found a fairly new release down here which was the latest Mission Impossible and I found it was two for £25 Today, you can literally buy that on the Apple iStore for £7 or the same price on the Google Play Store. So, pretty pretty shocking really. So, came over to the superhero section looking for the latest Spider-Man film. Sadly, the uh, there was a distinct lack of the Marvel films which I couldn't really understand, I can only assume it was some sort of supplier issue. Um, as you can see, some of these prices are very, very high for what the uh, the products are. So, <clears throat> went round to... Then we wandered, uh, wandered around again to the front of the store. We did find a Marvel section then. Now, unfortunately, Spider-Man Homecoming wasn't there. Um, so, the sweet did catch my eye here. The uh, Mary Poppins Blu-ray. Absolutely brilliant film. Legendary, in fact. Uh, that was something I did actually consider buying, but I didn't in the end. And then we had a bit more of a wander around took a look at some more films, as you can see, very, very high prices. Uh, Sicario 1 and 2, they are today on the big movie sale for $2.99. So there we have it, that, that's what um, my experience of going into HMV today was. Um, sadly my friend couldn't get hold of Spider-Man Homecoming, they literally did not have it anywhere in the store. Um, he's now I think ended up buying it on the Apple iStore, which, uh, fair enough. We did consider going over the road to look in Computer Exchange, but uh, as it happened, my mate didn't want to go in because he says it stinks. Um, whether or not that's true, I'm not going to say. From beginning to end, the, the very brief experience uh, of time that I spent in HMV today was um, unusual going through a relatively quiet and bright shopping centre that did have a lot of people in the uh, the food area um, going through the doors of HMV seeing a few people mostly browsing uh, to go in and, and find something that you would expect would be available um, one of the the Marvel films from only 2016 just wasn't available um, if anyone who works for HMV can explain why that's the case, then uh, please do. But yeah, could easily go on Amazon, get it delivered next day, purchase it digitally for probably cheaper than HMV would be willing to sell it. So I, I, overall, I would I would say it was disappointing. Prices were just phenomenally high compared to the competition. Uh, I I wouldn't choose to buy something from there unless it's Mary Poppins. But I haven't looked online, I can probably get that a lot cheaper. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And as usual, let me know what you think in the comments. And we'll, uh, 
we'll have a bit of a conversation about what we think and I'll see you in the next video.